All right, welcome back everybody to the sidewalks. Right now I have the executive producer of Human Target. This is Matt Miller. How are you doing, Matt? Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. I'm doing great. Now, you started off as a comedy writer, I believe, right? Like grown-ups? Uh, wow, that was a great pull. I, I did, did homework. You did your homework. I did. I started off uh, as a comedy writer. The first show I created was uh, was a sitcom yeah. and uh, starring Jaleel White and... Uh, Steve Urkel, former. Formerly Steve Urkel, yep. And uh, many years ago. And then, yeah, I started and began working on dramas after after that and uh, Chuck. Yeah. you got you did Chuck I did Chuck before uh, before human target yeah so I mean uh, now you're a showrunner on human target and yeah. were you a showrunner on Chuck too or you're just a producer I was one of the executive producers executive. Yeah. so as a showrunner what for the audience out there what is a showrunner well basically uh, if you look at it as like a television show like a company you're kind of running the company so you're involved in everything from breaking and writing all the stories working with the actors uh, working with the uh, the writers, excuse me, working with the casting director and casting every episode, wardrobe-wise, which leather jacket is Chance going to be in this episode, what is Ames wearing, um, musically, what's the score going to be like, working with the editors. So you basically all phases of production you have to kind of oversee, whether it be a location or a song or an actor or anything. Now you came in on the second season of Human yes. Target, so there's already a little establishment yeah. already. Yeah. Was it very hard to join in and change, you know, you did some changes, and yeah. some fans, we were actually we had some fans write us about some of the changes, sure, you know, sure. theme song and sure. some adding of characters. Yes. Was it a shock to get this response? I mean, some was good, positive, some was negative. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think the well, it seemed to be that the two things that people talked about the most were the addition of the two female characters and the theme song. Yeah. So let's address those separately. Uh, in terms of the adding of the two female characters, I'm really pleased with the way it all turned out. Uh, I think that uh, Janet and Deera were incredible additions to the show and super happy with the way that that all played out. In terms of the theme song, I did not in any way realize the, the enormous popularity of Bear McCreary. I, I had the original no, theme song. The original theme song. I, I had no idea. People, it was. I had no idea the response we were going to get. What happened was when we added the female characters, we had to open up our opening title sequence. And by doing that, we decided, oh, okay, because we we're going to change the music within the show. And we do things called needle drops, which are songs in the show. And we decided, okay, well, if we're going to change all that, we might as well change the opening theme song. In hindsight, mea culpa, okay, I had no idea the response that changing that was going to get. So, you know, if there's a season three, who knows what, what will happen. Maybe you have any inkling? Do you feel good about a season three? And the fans want to know, is there going to be season three? Have you been talking to Fox? Have you been knocking on the door, yeah. you know, begging him? Uh, yes. Yes to all of the above. They're well aware. Uh, a lot of emails, a lot of inquiries uh, asking. And I'm going in um, to Fox in two weeks to pitch our big season three, what will happen in season three, some of the moments, get them excited about the show. We've prepared a reel of season two to show them. So it's sort of our sales tool. And we're gonna go in and uh, we're, we're gonna leave no stone unturned. And, and we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Ultimately, the decision will be theirs come May when they look at their other pilots and they look over their landscape and see hopefully there's a spot for us. Maybe like a, even a mid-season? Yeah, absolutely. Mid-season is one of the things that's absolutely being discussed right now. You definitely love to take. You love to do 13. Personally, I love to do 13. I think, you know, with this kind of a show, because of the action sequences that we're doing, it's just brutal on the crew. It's just, it's a very, very difficult, and the cast, it's a very tough show to do. So 22 of that level of action is very, very tough. So 13 is a nice order for us. Yeah, let's pray to God real quick for yes. season three. Please. Please, season three. Anything, whatever it takes. <laughs> Thank you, man. So appreciate soul. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Good Thank job you. On, the work, on the show, too. Thank you very much. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.